Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Impulse. And what I've got here is a couple of questions which I'm going to show you how we calculate the impulse on them. And then I'm going to give you three questions to do at the end of this tutorial. And I'll show you the work solutions afterwards if you'd like to try them. But first of all, what do we mean by impulse? Well, in this first example, we've got two particles of mass 6 kilograms and 4 kilograms, particles A and B, and they're moving towards one another, as you can see here. Before the impact, A is moving at 5 meters per second and B is moving towards A at 2 meters per second. And then after the impact, they separate and A moves away at 4 meters per second and B moves at 11.5 meters per second. Now when they hit one another, both of them receive a thump from one another. We call this kind of thump an impulse. And we signify the impulse with, say, an arrow like this. And I'm going to call it I. And I is this impulse, this thump, that B gives A when they collide. And equally, there's an impulse in the other direction that B receives from A. And that, too, is I. It's exactly the same by Newton's third law. That is, to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. But I'll demonstrate this to you in a moment. Now, how do we work out what this impulse is? Well, impulse is defined as the change in momentum. And it's equal to mv minus mu. Remember, momentum is mass times velocity. So it's the final momentum minus the initial momentum. And what you've got to take care of is because we're dealing with vector quantities, direction matters. This is the most common mistake you find with people doing these kind of questions. Well, OK, let's see if we can work out the impulse that acts on A in this collision. Well, what I'd do is take a positive direction in the sense of the arrow I here, which is to the left. So we'll consider A, all right, just put that there, and we'll take to the left as positive. So that means that the impulse I equals the mass times the final velocity minus the mass times the initial velocity. So we look at this particle here. It's got a mass of 6. And its final velocity is, well, its speed is 4 meters per second. It's going in the positive sense. OK, so its velocity will be plus 4. Then we subtract the momentum before impact. So the mass is 6. We see that it's got a speed of 5 meters per second to the right, which is in the opposite sense to the arrow. So the velocity will be minus 5. And if we work this out, we've got 6 fours are 24. And we've got minus 6 times minus 5, which is plus 30. So we've got a total of 54. And the units that we use for impulse are Newton seconds. So don't forget those units, Newton seconds. Now, I looked at A, but I could have equally looked at B. So let's just show you what happens if we consider particle B. If I'm looking at particle B, the impulse I acts to the right. So I'd want to take to the right as positive. And if I do that, what I'm going to have is that I equals the change in momentum. So here would be the mass, which is 4. Then we need to multiply it by the final velocity, v. And that we can see is 11.5. It's 11.5. It's going to be 11.5 because it's acting in the positive sense. Then it's minus the mass again, 4, times the initial velocity. The speed is 2 meters per second, but acts in the opposite direction to the arrow here. 
so its velocity is going to be minus 2. So if we work this out, we've got 4 times 11.5, which is going to be, what, 46. And then we've got minus 4 times minus 2, which is plus 8. And 46 plus 8 is going to be 54, 54 newton seconds. So it shows you that we've got um, equal and opposite impulse of 54 newton seconds acting on the particles in the collision. Okay, so I hope you got that kind of idea of how to do questions like that. And what about this one, where we've got a particle hitting a fixed surface or wall? And in this one, we've got before the impact, it's moving at 5 meters per second, and then it hits the wall and rebounds with a speed here of 2 meters per second. So the ball's going to experience a thump on it, okay? A thump in this direction, an impulse as we should really call it, and we'll call it I. So how do we work out I? Well, we need a positive sense, and we'll take the positive sense in the direction of I. And I'd always encourage you to do that for any question on impulse. So we've got impulse I, equals the change in momentum, mv minus mu. The mass is 3 kilograms, so we want v, the final velocity. Well, we can see the speed is 2 meters per second, but it's also in the sense, the positive sense here, so that's going to be plus 2. Then we've got minus the momentum before impact, so it's mass times the initial velocity. So, we've got a speed of 5 meters per second, it's in the opposite sense to the direction here, the positive direction, so it's going to be minus 5. Work this out, we've got 3 twos is 6, and we've got minus 3 times minus 5, which is plus 15. Add those two together, and you've got 21 newton seconds. Okay, well I hope that's given you an idea on what kind of diagrams you should draw. Now I did say that I'd give you an exercise, three questions are going to follow that are similar to this and I would certainly encourage you to do the second question that I give you because you've got to be very careful over the signs. So let's give you those questions. Okay well here they are and what we've got is in this question, two particles, we've got a four kilogram particle. All I want to know is what is the impulse acting on this particle? And in this question, what is the impulse acting on this particle when it goes to hit this one and then rebounds away? This is the example I said you've got to be careful about, okay? So definitely take care on that one. Um, and this is very similar to the example I gave you earlier. We've got our mass here, 3 kilograms, hits the wall at a speed of 6 meters per second, rebounds at 5 meters per second. So pause the video, have a go and see what you can uh, make of these. Okay, so looking at this first one, what's the impulse going to be? Well, when this hits this one, this is going to receive a thump in this direction, so we've got an impulse. Hopefully you've drawn a diagram similar to this. Take your positive direction in the sense of the impulse, that is to the left, and so we've got I equals the mass, 4, times the final velocity, so that's going to be negative 2, because the 2 acts in the opposite sense to this minus the initial momentum, so the mass is 4, times the initial velocity. We got 3 to the right in the opposite sense to this, so it's going to be minus 3. So work this out, we've got minus 8 plus 12, and so that's going to be 4. 4 newton seconds, don't forget those units. When it comes to this one, we have an impulse, the impulse that the 5 kilogram mass receives is in this direction towards the right. Okay. 
Your positive sense will be to the right in the direction of the impulse. So we've got I equals, the mass is 5, we're looking for the final velocity. So it's got a speed of 2 in the direction of the positive sense, so that's going to be a velocity of 2, minus, then we've got the mass again, 5 times the initial velocity, and we've got a speed of 4 meters per second, but in the opposite sense to this, so its velocity is going to be minus 4. So hopefully you got all those signs right in there. So we've got 5 times 2 is 10, and we've got minus 5 times minus 4, which is plus 20, and that gives you a total of 30. 30 newton seconds then. And when it comes to the ball hitting the wall, the ball receives a thump, an impulse in this direction then, which we'll call I. So we set up our positive sense to the left in the direction of I. So we get I equals the mass, which is 3, times the final velocity. So it's going to be 5 because it's in the positive sense. Minus the initial momentum, so we've got the mass of 3 times the velocity. Speed is 6 in the opposite direction to this, so the velocity is going to be minus 6. Total this up, we've got 5 threes of 15. And we've got minus 3 times minus 6, which is plus 18. Add that up, and you've got 33. 33 Newton seconds. OK, how did, how did you do in that test? Well, I hope you did uh, pretty well, got them all right. If not, I suspect maybe you went wrong because of the signs. So, as I say, do take care over the signs. OK, well that brings us to the end and uh, good luck with uh, all the questions you do on Impulse.